Freedom of your own body on your arms. Very, very important, especially as we age. So, hands are down. If they're on the mat themselves, you have your fingers splayed and they're equidistant on the mat. If you're grabbing your yoga blocks, just grab the blocks. Curl toes under, leg goes back. Deep inhale. As you exhale, shoulders down, low belly in, ribs in, and bring the second leg back. Voila, in a plank. Okay. Then, if you lift your hips and lower your head, and walk your feet forward slightly, push out of your hands, push out of your hands, lengthen both sides of your body, and press your heels toward the mat. They shouldn't go all the way to the mat, but you should press them toward the mat. Then you can come forward, lower your hips, lower your hips, shoulders down, lower your hips, lift the chest. Now I'm the opposite to what I just was. So this is upward facing dog, then lift the hips, go all the way up, heels back, lengthen the sides of your body, ears between your arms, downward facing dog, and then pull in your low belly, pull in your ribs, so you're long and straight like a plank. Okay. Okay, now we have a variation called look ma, no hands. And it's, called, and it's done by just simply lifting your arms up and using your core. So, very important, the cues here. Deep inhale. Exhale, shoulders down, tuck your tailbone, lift your navel, and look ma, no hands. You come up in this pose without your arms working. I mean, you have them attached. Inhale down. So some people are just gonna go this far, or maybe not, and that's cool. Back down, inhale. Exhale, navel in, low belly engaged, sit bones pulled together. Try to maybe hang on, oh, and pull yourself up. Now if that's really too hard, try it with your legs out straight, see if that's better. A whole bunch of us are gonna say, mm -mm, can't go up, and that's fine too. So let's start down again, deep inhale. Exhale, roll it, roll it. Maybe you can hold on. If this is as far as you can go, trust me, you're doing well to just stay right here. Try to scoop or hollow, that's what we say in Pilates. If you can go all the way up, that's fine. Don't need to. Let's try two more times to roll up. What if your arms were out to the sides? Again, not with the neck shrinking down. Long, 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 long spine, long neck, and bicycling out to the side. I'm about to knock over my water. Whoopsie. Not sinking down into your shoulders, bicycle center. Whoa, arms out to the side. You will feel this. And the other side. Bicycle, bicycle. Bicycle, don't sink. Bicycle, two, and one, center. Okay, so we lunge with that knee as we go down. Bend the knee, back up. Arms are straight out, and we balance. So the foot is against the inner part of your knee. Your gaze goes to the ground because, hey, that's a great way to balance with your visual field doing part of the work. So lunging, bending the knee, just on the one leg is the knee bent, and then coming up, strap is straight out in front of you, and you balance, woo! Okay. Let's take a deep inhale. And as we exhale, let's drive the hands upwards, steepling the fingers, and inhale to back bend. Tuck your tail between your legs, and exhale, coming forward with long straight arms. And as you come forward, you're gonna come down on your forearms. Your foot is flat on the floor, and your toes are pointed straight ahead. Don't turn your toes outward. Deep inhale. 
and exhale, maybe holding on to either the ground or your yoga block or putting your forearm on a chair. We're gonna side bend and then inhale back to center and exhale, side bending on the other side. Tucking your tail between your legs, open chest and inhale back to center. If you're yoga savvy, you may recognize we did back bend, forward bend, side bend. Now we twist. So deep inhale at center. And as you exhale, you can press against the standing knee. Let's um, snake the other arm around your waist. And as you lift the chest and lower the shoulder blades, twisting, including your head and your neck. Now, you do want in this twist to keep your pelvis pointed forward so you would not twist your pelvis. In your legs and lift them. Okay, navel in, tailbone tucked, lengthen the legs, lift your straight legs. And then unclasping your hands. Arm over arm, Ugh, strongly, and then keep wrapping everything as much as you can. Maybe you'll get your palms to touch, maybe not. Deep inhale, exhale, knees in and you curl up. And then inhale back, feet on the mat. Exhaling, knees in, you curl up. Inhale down. Exhaling, you curl up and go to one side. And inhale down. And exhaling, knees curl up, you go to the other side. And inhale down. Last couple of times. Exhale, lengthen and lift the lower leg. That's a lot of L's. Deep inhale. Exhale, curl up, elbow toward knee. It doesn't have to touch, but low rib to the opposite pelvis. Inhale, switch, rib to pelvis. Exhale, switch, rib to pelvis. Straighten one leg as you bring the other in. Inhale, switch, and exhale, switch. And inhale, switch, cross, crawl. Exhale, switch, lower those ribs to the opposite side of the pelvis. Inhale, switch, and exhale, switch, and down. Okay. Now, as if that was not enough, I'll add just a little flare to this. You can do it, I promise you. Deep inhale. Exhale, roll it up. One leg long, one knee into the chest. Inhale. Exhale, lift and lengthen and hover the straight leg. Now, inhale to cross crawl to one side, straighten that leg and switch legs. Exhale, straighten the leg. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, you're drawing the other knee toward the chest, straighten the leg. And begin to peel slowly, push your ribs against the wall and then peel your ribs off. Pushing back in your ribs. Same thing with your low back. Arms hang, dangle loosely, and you are going down, 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 down. Your hips are still against the wall. My hands are just slightly lower than my kneecaps, and I'm going to just kind of flail or circle my arms a little bit around, loosen my neck, circle my arms the other way. Deep inhale, and exhale, ribs in, navel in, low belly in. Leave your head, neck, and shoulders loose and start to lengthen your spine longer, longer as you, you know where this is, one vertebrae at a time, longer, longer, longer spine. Ooh, really long spine, shoulders down. You come up one vertebrae at a time until your head is against the wall. Close heel arch. Back foot turned in. You are angled forward. Coming down, 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 so that knee is over ankle. Forearm goes to the foreleg, and the straight.
straight arm goes up, not to the ceiling, but angled out to the side. Open up your upper armpit. All right, so now to revolve or turn the pose, prayer position and twist and twist and rest the outside of your elbow on the knee of your ankle, pressing together in the hands. Breathing. Elbow to knee, palms pressed together. This time, keep rolling and extend your top arm, top leg. Oh, yes. And then come back. You don't have to pry open your legs, you can. I just want us to roll to the other side and extend, roll up enough so that you can extend your arm and leg. Walking your hips backward. And the intention here is that you are flexing your foot and you are feeling the stretch in your inner thigh as you rock backward. Okay, and bringing yourself back up once again. Uh, we will now come to the long position on the mat in quadruped or all fours. And we will extend the toes, curl toes under, extend the leg long, and cross the midline of your body with the leg. This is not out to the side. This is crossing the midline and out to the side. And now turn and twist. And as you uh, flex that foot that is on the floor, move your shoulders away from your ear. Child's pose by extending your palms forward and you can use those palms, pressing your palms into the mat to press your hips back and down into your heels. Okay, now, as you lift your ribs, you want to pull in your ribs in the front, lift the back of your ribs to the ceiling, keep your tailbone down. Down, down, tailbone, down. Lift ribs, walk your hands forward. This is arching like a cat. And then pick up your shins and calves, lift your upper chest. It's not a huge, huge back bend, just a little back bend. Just a little one, shoulders down. And then arch. Arch the ribs, pull in the ribs, pull the ribs up to the ceiling, tailbone down. Ribs up, tailbone down, and walk. Hands back in. And push out of your palms so that you push yourself back into child. So here's a version which is, um, there's a famous poster of a guy on a surfboard doing this. Uh, all we want to do is chair pose with an ankle crossed just above the knee. Same pose, same chair pose. All right, when you seek to balance, you use your gaze and you focus on something on the ground that's not moving and is not alive. And you breathe. Deep inhale. Exhaling. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bend in my legs, fold my ankle over my, just above my knee, reaching forward and sitting back and reaching forward and sitting back and come on up. Okay, that went well, I feel very lucky. <laughs> All right, other leg. Line up your feet for Tadasana the Mountain Pose, deep inhale. Exhaling, cross your leg, reach out and sit back and reach forward and sit back and reach forward with energy in your hands and sit back I know you're probably just so happy to balance, like forget the hands. <laughs> Warm up to teaser and I will state it right now, I'm not good at it. So hopefully you will do as I say and, and a little better than I do. I can do it, but not well. I'd like to do it smoothly and fluidly and I would like you to do that too. All right, first I'm gonna do it as a, as a beginner and I'm gonna do it well. Deep inhale with my arms over my head, ribs down. And exhale, we're just gonna come up, and look, your arms can go parallel to your straight leg. That's great, that's done very well. Inhale down. One more of that, exhale up. Squeeze the towel. All right, now let's try two of the other kind. 
exhaling, come up and come all the way up. I'm throwing my body up, which is an indication that I'm not using as much core as I should. In inhale back down. Exhale smoothly and fluidly. That was better. And inhale back down. All right. We will change soon. Don't worry. Hover the arms. So inhaling. And X. In. And X. Shins parallel to the ceiling. In. And X. In. And X. Legs straight. In. And X. In. And X. Lower the legs. In. And X. In. And X. Lower more. In. And X. In. And X. And stop. And when you're ready, you could roll to one side or you could flex your feet, hold on to the backs of your thighs, pull your navel in, start to scoop and hollow as you push your hands and legs against one another, and then come up to a position with long legs if you can, and arms either parallel to the ground or parallel to your legs long spine in Pilates teaser. So thank you so much for joining me for term one of combo yoga and Pilates class and I'll see you next time.